Hi everybody, I'm Argolfumpf, and today I'm playing Royal Romance's Forbidden Magic. The game starts with a handshake. A mouth later? Ooh, that's not good. That's a typo. There is no U in the word month. It looks kind of bad when your video game starts with misspelling the word month. Well, this game is a sequel to Royal Romance's Battle of the Woods. I have not played that game, but hopefully I can still understand everything that's going on. Let's get started with the adventure. Episode 5! Episode 5? I just started the game. I don't... Well, anyway, episode five, Ursula. How dare you touch this book, you ignorant witch! This fount of wisdom, along with the spells inside, belongs to the Moon Elves. So, you learn your lesson. I'll have to deprive you of your magic powers. You'll have a chance to get your powers back, but only if you're honest and transparent with everyone. Okay, so I am already confused. It looks like my magic powers were stolen by some sort of blue angel fairy creature? I don't know. Uh, that's how the game starts. I I'm going to assume this makes sense uh, if, if you've played... No, I don't need a tutorial. I assume it makes sense if you've uh, played the, the first game. So our character is Ursula. Apparently she touched some sort of forbidden book. And now she's in trouble with a moon elf. Okay, so I grab my notebook and I'm grabbing these items here, like a crowbar and some seeds. I'm going to use the crowbar over here. I've got a box from Ida. Ida. Oh, and there are rune stones scattered throughout this game, so you might want to keep an eye out for rune stones. I'm going to grab these items here. You'll notice we have a sparkling book over here. That indicates I can click on the book on the screen. See, there are collectibles. They're collectibles. We'll have royal things, magic artifacts, and rune stones. I'll, I'll point them out on other screens. So what do I do now? Let's see. Uh, take a look at the desk. Whoa, whoa. Okay, um, that looks like a map, and it is scary. Dear Ursula, I'm currently out of the kingdom with King Elian. I'm uh, doing very important stuff, so I won't visit you anytime soon. Since you're so interested in moon elves, I sent you a little gift on the subject. Stay safe. And don't forget to fertilize that bonsai I gave you. Hmm. So who's Ida? I don't know. Um, interesting. So we need to find something to open up this. So this is the gift that Ida was talking about. Something about Moon Elves, or even Callisto herself. I, I just need to open that case. Okay, so let's take a look at this bonsai. I don't think I have anything to feed the bonsai. What do I do here? Okay, hint says... Hint says what? I use the scissors to open this. Oh, there's the gift. And those are the bonsai fertilizers. Okay, so bonsai fertilizer goes here. And that gives me the key to the cabinet, because the tree ate my cabinet key. This will give us a puzzle. You want to find something that looks like this. So that's, uh, uh, here? Aha, and now something that looks like this. Ah, here. Something that looks like that. Something that looks like that. I, I don't see it. There we go. Basically, you're just going to be clicking on scrolls until you found them all. And let's see, there's a rune. There's another rune. Uh, what's this last one? That one? That This one at the bottom. A magical parchment experimental piece. Huh. Don't know what that magical parchment is about, but I have a red gem, so I'll use it here. I 
And Ida gave me this puzzle. We want to find uh, differences. Like, there's an eyeball here. And then there's another flower there. And... I don't know. Uh, let's use a hint. A butterfly there. Okay! We're getting some story! Good. Callisto's been protecting, protecting the moon elf's knowledge for centuries. She used to be a moon elf. She valued knowledge. Okay, let's find the moons on the screen. On her deathbed, she vowed to protect the moon elves' legacy. Anybody who gets too close will have their magic powers stolen. And that seems like what happened to us, right? We, we just saw our main character get chewed out for, uh, you know, getting too close and her magic was stolen. Poor Ursula. So we need to find deathbeds. Deathbeds. Just images of death. A Callisto spirit is hard to find. If we find her spirit inside this moon elf mirror, then she can give our magic powers back. Great, so let's find spirits in mirrors. Now, there was a mirror like this in Flamedorn Kingdom. A merchant named Bernard bought it for his collection. A map and road signs will lead to fame, Flamedorn, and that's going to be our main story here. We're going to go to Flame Dorm. We're going to find the mirror. That way Ursula can get her magic powers back from from the elf lady, Callista. I'll be damned. Ursula, is that you? Now I can finally get even with you, foolish witch! With you dead, no one will ever have to suffer from forbidden magic again! Ah! Hey, stop! Oh darn bandits have been going wild lately. Where are the guards when people need them the most? I'll come back for you, Glissando! Don't you doubt it! Wait, I recognize you? Ursula, I doubt I can trust you after what you did to my brother. But you helped us in the end. So I suppose I can return the favor. Good thing I had some business in town today. God knows what that mouth breather would have done to you if I hadn't shown up. Why are you so upset? Come on, you can tell me. So this is Glissando. I think he's a prince. I don't know who the other guy was. So let's tell him. Let, let's be nice to him. Let's be nice to him. Thank you for saving my life. I just lost my magic powers. Always a pleasure. Now, tell me who or what took your powers away from you. It was a moon elf. I see. Thank you for being so open with me. Well... What do you say we drown our sorrow somewhere? And who knows, maybe you'll run into someone who can help you get your powers back. There is a secret tavern called the Drunken Dragon, not so far from here. It's purely for magic creatures. Oh, and rumor has it, they serve the finest ale in the whole kingdom. Unfortunately, Everyone who wants to enter needs to prove they're magical somehow. The bouncers aren't going to take our word for it. I'm, um, on a wanted list, so they definitely won't let me in. And with your magic powers out of commission, it looks like we're going to face some difficulties getting inside. You can say that again? Well... This is the tavern, by the way. That's the tavern, the Drunken Dragon. We want to go inside that tavern. Hopefully uh, learn more about this magic stuff. Find that magic mirror. Ah, but you need to prove you have magic powers before you get inside. I don't have magic powers. My magic was just stolen. Uh, yeah. I mean, come on here. Okay, so I'm going to find a card. I'm going to use my comb to open this. What's that? It's a leaflet. It says, here's how you can...
be a magician. You need these three items in order to perform a magic trick. All right, all righty, seems helpful. And it looks like we have an item here. It is a morphing object. So, ah, 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 I'm not, ah, ah, I'm confused. This is the morphing object, we found it, hooray. Great, hooray for collectibles. Okay, so over here, we're going to need an item to open up the carriage and we are going to need something. Ooh, there's a rune, right, there's a rune. And a pigeon, let's give seeds to the pigeon. Princess Amelia the Beautiful. Huh. I guess she's the uh, local princess here. And let's see. I'll open up this. Just take a bunch of stuff. I think I might have everything, actually. I have my hat. I have my pigeon. I have my magic wand. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now I can do a magic trick. And that should fool the guard so I can get into the magic tavern. Great! Hmm. Bartender, bartender, pour me a drink! Welcome to the Drunken Dragon. We look forward to serving both regulars and first timers. So, uh, what's going on? Why is nobody here? You probably know about what happened in Trondheim, don't you? Well, our King Silas made an agreement with Elion, and now all of a sudden he's Elion's loyal vassal. Okay? Being scared for their lives, magic creatures are leaving the forest in a panic. Bandits are running wild. It's not even safe to go outside anymore. All right, so apparently, uh... The guards couldn't care less about the townspeople. They're all too busy trying to claim the bounties for the Trondheim princes. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm so confused. Well, apparently whatever happened, there was some sort of deal going on with the neighboring kingdom, and now everybody here is scared. We're actually from that neighboring kingdom. Oh, but how came you to be here? Were you just trying to save your lives running from the forest? Oh, poor thing. Sit down, relax, and have a glass of our signature dragon ale. It's extremely refreshing. Hmm, don't mind if I do. And we are looking for Bernard. He has a magic mirror that I want to purchase. Bernard. Is that the weird man who travels all over the kingdoms buying useless stuff? Could be. Maybe. I don't know. He holds auctions at our taverns, but I've never been to one. I have better things to do, frankly. But you could always ask somebody if they know anything. Well, it's been nice chatting, but I've got to go. Duty calls. Bye. All right, so we're inside the tavern, and now we need to learn about Bernard's auctions. They're actually here on the other side of this door. Let's see, this guy's gonna want something uh, before he'll let us in. Yeah, all right, so let's take a look. Grab this. Drunken Dragon, a safe harbor for magical creatures. Named after the local mountain, Dragonburg. All right, safe place, good to know. I'm actually gonna take the leather bracelet and shove it in here to open up the drawer. And then later on, when I have a magnet, I will get that metallic thing. I got sleeping powder and a third playing card. Oh, uh, uh, looks like there's a collectible here. It is that little chalice. And later on, i.e. in the next video, I'll melt this candle for something. And I will put horns on this dragon. Cool. So for now, let's talk to this guy. Hi, I'm Turvenir. Have you heard of a game called Kalis? Play a hand with me, and I'll tell you something interesting. Wait, several of the cards are missing. Would you mind helping me find them? Oh, I've got the cards right here, Kalis. So this is a game... You click on info to get the rules. If you get three identical cards, you can destroy your opponent's cards of the same type. Four of them get a king. Uh, if you get one of each card, you get to steal your opponent's king. Two kings means you win. So let's put down a reed card. I guess that's a, a dragon card. Okay, dragon card. 
And uh, I'm going to put down a third dragon card here. And that just steals my opponent's dragon card. Alright. So it looks like I only have uh, loot player cards now. So I don't really have a choice. But, uh, oh, I've got three loot players now. I guess I'll steal my opponent's loot. Well, four of them? Wow. Okay, four of them for a king. And now I just need one more dragon, and then I'll be able to uh, king this. But it looks like right now I'm getting uh, falcons. Yeah. I just need one more dragon. That's all. All I need is a dragon. Arr! More falcons. Okay, stole the opponent's card. Oh, and the opponent stole my card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Four hearts. I win. I can barely hear you, dude, but you're welcome. You're looking for Bernard, aren't you? I know that magic junk collector. He used to buy stuff from all over the kingdoms. But ever since people started getting arrested for having anything to do with magic, Bernard set up a clandestine auction market here, in the tavern. He wants to get rid of all of his magic stuff, just in case. Oh, good. Maybe he'll sell me that magic mirror for cheap. I have an auction pass, but I don't feel like going. I believe you are the one who needs it most. Here, now it's yours. Oh, thanks, Turvator. You'll Whatever need a special type of auction currency if you are inclined to buy something there. It's called Learn. I would consider getting some. I will learn how to get Learn, then. And last thing, I promise. Why are you so eager to find Bernard? Please do satisfy my curiosity. Let's see. I will I will be nice and say, "Hey, I'm looking for the mirror that belongs to Callisto." Callisto's mirror, huh? I know exactly the mirror you're talking about. Bernard has it. Hooray! You're full of surprises, Ursula. I like it. I hope you wouldn't mind seeing me again sometime, would you? I'd love to see you again, Turvator. You're just, you're just so amazing, dude. Oh, Turvener, Turvener, that's his name. Right. Anyway, he he got me, he got me the magic pass, and you might notice. Look, I said nice things to him, so now my love meter is at two out of three. Woohoo!